Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss OpenSSL BIO, a basic I.O. abstractions. OpenSSL is very popular and widely used in cryptograph and secure communication industry. SSL stands for the Secure Socket Layer, a security protocol that has created an encrypted link between network server and the client. But OpenSSL is not only used for socket and network communication, but also is widely used in data sending receiving processing. The example in this video is going to demonstrate how to use an OpenSSL BIO to build an API, read and write a date from a file to a file. OpenSSL BIO is a basic I.O. abstractions. In high level, there are two types of BIO, source sync BIO and filter BIO. A source sync BIO is a source and a sync of date. For example, include the socket BIO and the file BIO. A filter BIO takes data from one BIO and pass to another BIO. In general, OpenSSL usually comes with most Linux distribution. And it doesn't need a special download and installation. To check if OpenSSL has been installed on your system, usually we check a library, header file, and API. OpenSSL uses two libraries, labcrypto.so and labssl.so. And the most header file installed under user include OpenSSL directory. The API called OpenSSL. The so version we are using is OpenSSL version 1.1.1D. First, we create a simple program, read the data from one file and pass to another file. Usage will be bio underscore file, read from one file, write to another files. In order to use it, we have to include a header file called bio.h. First, it centralizes the pointer called bio out and another called bio in. Memory, we allocate size 512 and we memory set our buffer. So first, we instantialize BIO. Because we are going to open from file, so with a function called BIO underscore new underscore file. First parameter is a file name. For in, file name is from argument one. And the model of this file, we are going to read and the second BIO, BIO out using, we're using same function to create our BIO out. File name come from argument two. Model of this file, we're going to be right. And now we have instantialized source and the sync BIO. Source is the BIO in, sync is the BIO out. Like a typical read and write from file, we have to create a loop. We use a function. This function return number of bytes we read. First parameter will be the BIO. We read from BIO in. And the second parameter is the buffer where we load in the memory. Third parameter is the maximum size we are going to read, which is our buffer size. If our in byte is greater than zero, we continue loop till in byte is zero. After that, we are going to write the function we are going to use called bio underscore write and this function takes three parameter. First parameter will be the bio which is called bio out. Second parameter will be the memory, the buffer. And the third parameter will be the how many bytes we are going to write to and the byte we are going to write will be the in byte. This function returns the number of bytes we write. So in order to check writing is OK, out byte equals this function. So if in byte not equal, out byte will be something error. So we are going to, going to break to also to print some message.
So we print out how many bytes we read and how many bytes we write. After finish the loop, where we close BIO, we use it. The function using called BIO free. So we free our BIO in, we free our BIO out. Finish our program, we save it. So in order to test our program, we create a test file called test underscore source.txt, which this is a Hui test line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till there is 10 lines. So what we do, we have a file, source, and the output is called test underscore output.txt. So we cut our output. You can see we exactly read this file, pass to other files. The advantage of using BIO, not just pass one file to another file, it's also be using for encrypt or encoding. Next example, we're going to demonstrate how to use BIO to read the data from one file encrypt it and write to another file. And we read an encrypted file, decrypt it, we create a program called a BIO underscore B64 underscore encoding dot CPP and decoding dot CPP. The method we use to encrypt called BIO base64. BIO of underscore F base64 is a filter BIO that returns base64 BIO method. The filter BIO will be read data from one BIO passed to another BIO. This method will encode the data when write through it and decode the data when read through it. This program is called encoding, so we have to make BIO when the write through it. First, we have to central line pointer B64. And we do the same thing as normal BIO source file from argument one, it's called BIO in and BIO out. File name from argument two will be encoded files. In order to use the base64, we have to create another BIO. The method is called BIO underscore new and BIO F. After we instantialize the BIO B64, we have to use it. We have to use BIO underscore push function, chain or link append two BIO together. First is the B64 and we append it BIO out. Because we are going to encoding, so we are going to write through this BIO. So now we still read from BIO in, but when we write, it will be B64. And when we close, it will close B64. So this is we read from normal BIO, we write to the B64 BIO, and this BIO is the base64 encoding. Save this. Now we look at our decoding. Similar as the encoding, and we read from decoding file, we write from plain text file and we create our B64 BIO and we change this B64 BIO with our in BIO because of this B64 BIO, when read through it, it will do in the decoding. This program, when we read, we read from BIO underscore B64 and when we write, we write to out BIO. Finish the loop. We free the BIO out, which is a single BIO. We close the BIO B64, which is a chained BIO. Now we save our program. We compile our program. We have our test file called test underscore source dot txt. First, we encoding this, we read from source file, and we write to, to the file name called test underscore encoding.txt. Now let's uh, check. You can see the date is uh, not human readable. 
and the source is human readable. So now we try to decode this. Encoding the file, we write to the file. You can see we are decoding the file back as its source. And in the middle, our decoding the file is not human readable. Similar as the way using Open SSL API to do same things. ENC, which we are going to encoding, we got a page 64, and the in file will be the source and the out. Got the op test open slenc.txt. So we cut this. You can see. This is the encoded file. If we want to decode this using OpenSSL API, minus D, it means the way decoding method will be the base 64, exactly the same way encoding. The in will be the encoded file, out will be test underscore open ssl underscore out dot txt so we cut uh, decoding the file see this is uh, we test line one two three four five and zero hello this is hui thanks to watch my video hope this is useful and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback